But how were Roman marching camps built? At the end of each day's march, the soldiers built a temporary fortified camp where they could rest safely overnight. The layout could change with the size of the army, the terrain, or the situation, yet the model always stayed the same. A special team was sent ahead to select the site and mark it out with colored flags. A white one marked the position for the commander's tent. When the army stopped, the legionaries divided into groups. Some stood guard, while others built the fortifications. The ground was cleared and leveled. A wide, V-shaped ditch was dug. The earth piled up to form a rampart, topped with a wooden palisade. At the heart of the camp, two main streets crossed at right angles, and at their intersection stood the Praetorium, the commander's tent. From this central point, smaller roads spread outward, dividing the camp into rectangles where the soldiers pitched their tents. Typically, four chicane entrances protected the camp, each designed to slow down potential attackers in different ways. The entire camp could be built in just three hours. All constructions were dismantled or even burned when the legionaries left the camp. 